All right, my name is TJ Welch, and welcome to Boston Rock and Roll Television. This is Sonic Lobotomy. This is number 60, show number 60. And this is not a local band. Occasionally we get bands from far away, and this band is from the UK. It's uh, ex-members of Last Resort. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome all the way from overseas, from across the pond, it's the Warriors! 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 Come out to run! The Warriors! Warriors! And shout out the Warriors! Warriors!
I don't know what it's like living here. I don't know if it's a good town or a shit town. But where we live, it's definitely a shit town. No one's all over the lot. The show for us, my If you're living in a shit town, I pray you should work. Shit town, freak down, freak down, freak down. I ain't living in a shit town. If you're living in a shit town, you know just what I mean. The windows are always dirty and the streets are never clean. Well, for each place, who doesn't run? There is no taxi ride. And all the voices in shit town are one expression. Let's 
to Toll Shock, Sam Ovec, and Ragwares, a Melanchy bit of car, because it's going to be a fucking horror show! <laughs> I'm off! 
we run We will be in your fucking cut It's in the action, angel guy You're in the action, power machine You are scum, a real lost soul Touch your ways, you fucking arsehole Be a woman, I you clean your tongue Just in my last man, I don't know Put a symbol, I must be blood Woman, be in your fucking cunt All right, well, this is episode 60 of Sonic Lobotomy, and we have a special guest from uh, across the pond. We have the Warriors from Essex, which is near London. I want to thank you guys for coming on the show. You did a bang-up job, really sounded awesome. Thanks very much. Yes. Yeah, we really enjoyed yes. it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Cool. thank you. I try to focus on local bands, but occasionally uh, I, I get a band from England. In the past, I've had uh, oh, the East End Battos and uh, Resistance 77, and uh, it's just great to, to see a band that's touring uh, come stop way up here, and Danvers come out of their way, and, and I want to thank you guys for doing that. Yeah, yeah, no, pleasure. Yeah, 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 appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Much appreciated. Yeah. Yeah. I promise I'll give you a DVD of this, and you'll like it. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Great performance. So how long is this uh, tour going on for that you're on right now? Um, well, we've, it's only like about 10 days. We've got three more gigs. So right. we're all sort of halfway through, we've got three more gigs and then, then we've got to fly back. Yeah, and you've back been... Back to reality. <laughs> back to reality. <laughs> and then yeah. reality, your, your jobs and everything yeah, so else. And the wall. Well, let's introduce yourself, starting from uh, over here, from this side. I'm Andy. I'm Dave, I'm the guitar. Saxby. Chris, drummer. And Nick, bass. Yeah, how long have you guys been uh, known as, as the Warriors? When did this uh, start up? Well, um, we started back again in sort of the, the end of the 90s and um, done a couple of albums and, and then, and then um, two or three albums and then the band sort of split up and then I, I had to reform with some new guys and we started again in sort of 2007. So most of us have been together since 2007, you know, and then we've had some extras. I mean, <clears throat> we now got two guitarists, which is great. First of all, we've had two guitarists and it's, uh, it's miles better. Yeah, it, it does sound yeah. real full. It's, yeah. it's great to hear a lead and a rhythm going on at the yeah. same time. Yeah, you know, fantastic. You guys, uh, do you have any new uh, material out? At uh, new recordings or CDs? Or uh, well, we um, yeah, we got a couple of singles out. We've got um, we've got that uh, Dead to Me, uh, which is a t um, Dead to Me, and um, no one uh, no one uh, pr provokes me without punishment is a, a single, and that's out on uh, what label is it out on? You know, you know what I mean. Rebel Sound. Rebel Sound. Is it Rebel Sound in, in this country? Uh, yeah. Agro Beat in Agro Europe. Agro Beat in Europe. And, and we've also got another one. Um, Coloured uh, vinyl. Yeah, and there's another one that's going through. Uh, another Randall. Two, Randall. Yeah. Randall. Under one flag. Yeah, under, under one, one flag. flag thing, yeah. And we've got two songs out, which is Shit Town and, and um, Good Old, old Bad Old Days. So yeah, we've got a couple of singles out. <clears throat> Excuse me, we're halfway through uh, doing a new album. Uh, we've got uh, seven songs already in the can, and we're going to go back. When we go back to England in um, next month, we're going to do another four songs, and uh, yeah, so we got new, we, we're working on a new album, but we got, got about half of it done. And the film. And the film, yeah, we hope it a bit. Yeah. We, we got um, uh, there's a film, a British gangster film called Gatwick Gangsters, and um, Dead, to, Dead me. to Me is going to be in it, and Situation Normal All Fucked Up, that's in there as well. And, that was uh, the first one you played, right? Uh, no, 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 and um, in that film, there's quite a few people. There's, there's Dave Courtney, who's like a celebrity gangster, who's been in a few films. There's a singer from Courtney Rejects, Jeff Turner, he's in it. Uh, Rhoda Dacker from The Special, she's yeah. in it. Gary Bushell's in it. Yeah. Oh. Uh, there's a well known snooker player from England called Willie Thorne, he's in it. And yeah, there's quite a few people in it, got little yeah. parts and that. And it's, Cops and Robbins? Or? Uh, well, it's, <laughs> it's a roller yeah, coaster of a film, it's got so many <laughs> twists. I mean, like, you know, it's. It, it's not uh, that's mentioned in it, can't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it's, got, it's, got, it's got more twists in the video. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's yeah. a sort of, yeah. It'll um, have a good soundtrack, won't it? 
Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We've got two songs on there, yeah, and it's uh, yeah, and uh, <laughs> as I say, it's still in production, but it's uh, it's almost finished. Dead to me. Did you write that? Anyone particular with someone in mind? It's pretty. Uh, no, no. What it is? I'm a big fan of Sopranos. Oh yeah. And that's yeah. one of his. You know, Tony Soprano always goes, "She's dead to me," and I thought that's got to be. That's a song. Yeah. That's a song. Yeah. And I, um, I've got a. You know, back home I've got a dog, and I take the dog for long walks. And when I was walking the dog one day, it just came to me the song like, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Pretty, the lyrics, anyway, the lyrics. And then, um, you know, I gave it to. The, I said, "I've got this great lyrics. Can we put a tune to it?" And this guy's got this brilliant tune. To it. And, that's how it works, you know, that's how we sort of work, we sort of, you know, uh, we sort of have to do it, you know, so, 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 we, like, we all put our little bits in, you know, that's, that's right. how we do it. It's, it's more of a jowl than a dictatorship. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I tend to write most of the lyrics, but not all of them, most of them, and these guys do the, you know, they all put their little bits in, and, 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 and that's how it goes. And it's great, yeah. Works. The formula yeah. works for us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, 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 works yeah well. Totally. Yeah, that's how we do it, we sort of just jam away and... Sometimes we haven't got any ideas, and other times we've got really good ideas, and it's just, you know, we just sort of... And so what we do, when we've got three three or four songs, we go in and record them. We, we, we get them up to scratch, and then we go in and do them there, you know, as soon as possible. That's how we do it. Yeah. And it seems to work better that way, and uh, rather than going in and trying to do a whole album, we sort of do four songs. And where we record them, um, Perryvale, Perryvale Studios, <coughs> excuse me, that's Pat Collier. And Pat Colley was in the Vibrators. He was the original bass player. Oh the yeah, Vibrators. Baby Baby. Yeah, yeah he was in the original. And, and so he yeah. knows exactly what you want. And that everybody records there. Uh, Cox Sparrow recorded there. Argy Bargy, 999, yeah. Last Resort. You name them, they all record. Because he's great. He's brilliant. You go in there and you come out nine hours later and you've got like... Four songs done. Yeah, yeah. It's, there's your songs. Almost they're pretty mastered. Much, and they're pretty much Almost really, mastered. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah Every yeah. penny is there. Yeah, masters yeah. 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 yeah, we've got uh, a guy named Jim Siegel who does the drop kicks. He did some of the Welch boys. Does all, all the Boston bands. Yeah. It's the same way. You don't even need a master to record it so hot and so yeah. loud. Because yeah. yeah. you've been there a couple of times, you know it's the sort of sound you want. And, and yeah. you know, once you set up your bang, you just knock them out almost, you know. And, yeah, he's great, and, and he, he doesn't. He sort of, you know, he, he doesn't try and uh, dictate. He just says, "Well, I think perhaps you should do that again, or just can do that and do that," and, and say, so, you know, because he's been in a band. He, he's a musician. He knows. So, yeah, 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 yeah. He knows what sounds he wants. Yeah, yeah, and and uh, oh, it's great. I mean, so we're going in April again. We got <clears throat> we got four songs lined up, and yeah, we'll just go in and do them. It'll, it'll be a Sunday. We, we normally do it on Sundays. We drive up there. Yeah. First stop, we, we pop in and see him. He puts the kettle on. We go over and get some bacon rolls, and then we're rolling. There you go. Nice. Yeah. nice. There you go. <laughs> Lots of bacon rolls. Lots of bacon rolls. <laughs> yeah. no, we do not have. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell is a bacon roll? Is? It's just bacon. You know, just a ham a, roll. A, a, yeah, yeah. Red with it's roll. like bacon with more bacon on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much yeah, yeah, yeah. bacon sticking around and yeah, ketchup. Don't know. He has yeah. about ten. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But they're only they're only small. Don't they? yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll be over there next month. I'm going to see a Manchester United game with my brother. All right. Yeah. So I'll have to have some bacon rolls while I'm over. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll hook up one of them. Pies. Yeah. Yeah. Pies. Pies. Oh, right. yeah, like pie, pie and mash. Yeah. Pie and mash. Mushy yeah. peas. Yeah. Jelly deals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're good food, huh? Yeah. No, it's rubbish. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to take no, one bite. British aren't known for their food, no, are they? No. You're going to take one bite and just throw it in the bin. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. You think, what a waste of, waste of money. Yeah. No, eat in a restaurant. That's our experience. Yeah. Just stick to fish and chips. Yeah. We've decided, because we... We, you know, we watch a lot of American telly, t television in our country. And me and Nick and somebody else, we want to do one of those Man V Food challenges. <laughs> <laughs> we think you can do it's one. It's always me. <laughs> we think you can do one. I'm going to have a go. With bacon rolls, 100 bacon well, rolls. Well, yeah. In 10 minutes. Yeah, 100 dogs in a minute or something. I don't know, whatever. Yeah, we want to do one. We, 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 don't, we, don't, we want to try it, don't we? Yeah, we've got to try it. We've got to try it before we go. And, um, we'll find somewhere. We'll yeah, find yeah. somewhere. Yesterday, yesterday we went to a, uh, <laughs> we shot some guns, didn't we, yesterday? That was good, wasn't it? Yeah, that's a good laugh. Because <laughs> we, we don't do that stuff. Oh, yeah, they got no guns in it. <laughs> no, no, right. When you're in America, you might yeah, as well yeah, get to shoot it. A gun? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could do life for a gun. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Yeah. Now, now I, it wouldn't be an interview without uh, breaching upon the subject of Last Resort. I'll, now, some of you guys were in Last Resort. Yeah. Um, uh, when did Last Resort form, and, and what's the... Well, when, uh, the Last Resort, we um, we first started in sort of like 1979, yeah. <coughs> excuse me, and we was like jamming away for about a year, and didn't really get anywhere, and then um, Charlie Duggan come, moved down from London to, to, to where we were living in Owen Bay, and he was quite a good little guitarist, he'd come from Brixton, and, and he, you know, and then we got a drummer, a young lad on drums, and then we sort of started from there. And I was in the band uh, for about two years, and, and I wrote a few songs, or lyrics of a few songs. And I've done about seven or eight, so, uh, seven or eight uh, gigs and stuff, and this, that, and, and, and we've recorded four songs with me in it. And then 
I, I had to leave the band. I, mean, I didn't want to, but I had personal stuff going on. I had to leave. Didn't want to, so I did, but I did. Yeah. And, and then Roy, the bass, the Roy who was the bass player, uh, the original lineup, he took over singing. And the guy who was teaching him bass was Arthur Kitchen or Arthur Kay, <coughs> excuse me. And he, he took over the bass. Well, because Arthur had been a musician, Arthur was 10 years older than the rest of us. So he was, he'd been a musician for 15 years. Yeah. So, he, so straight away, they got better because he knew about songs, how to structure them and stuff, where we were sort of fiddling around doing what we thought was right, not really knowing what we were doing. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then yeah, and, and then that's when they got really good. But we, we'd already had, a, we used to go to the last resort shop anyway to buy our stuff. And we asked the man, and we asked the guy at the shop to be our manager, you know. So that's what happened. But we was all naive. We didn't realise he was actually like rubbing his blind. But oh yeah, like, isn't that all yeah, the way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But there you go. That's like a Malcolm McLaren type guy. Yeah. Well, yeah, he was a shop owner, but I mean, it works both ways. Because if it hadn't been for him, we wouldn't have got. He wouldn't, you know, Gary Bush wouldn't have heard our yeah our, our four track cassette, and so he pushed us. And he bought Charlie a Gibson guitar and stuff. So, so he did some good stuff, but. It was only later on, years later, you find out that you know all these. Uh, I mean, I'd left the band by then, but that, that album they done, they, there was loads of those sold. But the guys didn't really see much work. They yeah. saw a few, you know, yeah. didn't see much really in the way of money out of it. But but then it's just like you know, and that's that's what happens. But they're seeing they're seeing the thing now, and then and then and then sort of about eighty two, it sort of split up. Or 80, 81, or end of eighty one. Uh, every last resort gig was a punch up, was a fight, uh, and we they couldn't play. I used to go and sing backing vocals when I could with them, you know. Uh, or, I'd, or I'd go to the gig and I'd you know, come and sing back in, and, and uh, but that, in the end it just got silly every time you know there was fights. So so they, they but uh, Mickey French, the manager, he sent them to record what turned out to be the album. But really it was a series of demos, but it turned out to be the album. Yeah. Uh, uh, again, they wasn't happy about that because they would rather have gone and you know remixed it, done it a bit, you know. But it was it was what it was. It was really a set of demos, but they put it out the first album, uh, and and, and then. And then, and then saying in the end it just went up. It was name, and, and 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 they and they wanted to. The guys wanted to do something different, so so they thought, no, we'll get rid of the manager. We'll, we'll change the name to the Warriors, and they changed drummers. Yeah. And then that's what they did, and they recorded a couple more songs under the Warriors, and done two or three more gigs, and it just sort of fizzled out. And then Roy joined the Foreskins. Oh and, yeah. And, and then and then that was it really. And then um, we got this call in the 90s, like to do it. Uh, well, not say we. They they wanted these guys in Belgium wanted the last results to do a gig in Belgium. And Arthur went to see Roy, and Roy was up for it. But by then, Roy was more into metal, and he wanted to make it like a rock show. Yeah. Arthur wanted to make yeah. it more like an oi show. So there was uh, musical differences, I believe the term is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> big difference between yeah. oi and metal. Uh, and, yeah. and then I saw I saw Arthur's wife, and, and, and she told me about it. I said, well, I always regret leaving the band. Yeah. He said, so so I, I sort of stepped in, and, and um, in the meantime, Arthur had wrote some songs. I wrote some lyrics, and then you had the Warriors. And we, uh, uh, well, we, well, we did did that one gig as a last result. But yeah. Roy owns the night, the right of the name, so we couldn't. He let we did the one gig, but when he heard we was doing an album, he said, "No, you've got you, you can't use the name for the album." So, so if you've got the first album, the first Warriors album, it says the Warriors, and in brackets it says, "AKA the last result," because that's that's how the original, that's how the the first pressing went out. The second pressing just says the Warriors, but if you've got one that says "AKA the last result," that is the first pressing. Of the full Monty CD, ah. and um, and that was that. And Roy never really used the Last Resort name. No. He, he was in a band called uh, Horror Show. He was in a band called Roy. He'd been in loads of little bands, <clears throat> and then eventually he got some local guys together. And um, John and Beef, um, jo John and John and Beef were both played in the Anti Nowhere League. Yeah, and they were both, uh, and, they, and I think John had played in the Subs as well. I think, and uh, and, he, and he got a local drummer, and and then, and then so he's going as the Last Resort. So so. You know, by this time we just stuck to the war. We still stuck to the Warriors name. So, so yeah, we still. I mean, we do gig. We've done two or three gigs with them. You know, so there's no animosity. You know, we, we, in fact, where we, uh, Chris has got a lock up, and where we, <coughs> where we rehearse, they rehearse in the lock up across, oh, okay. across the way. So, you know, we, they often pop in and have a cup yeah. of tea. And we pop over there and blah blah blah. So we're all mates in that. Um, but as I say, so yeah, and that's basically what happened. And, and so, but obviously, people want to see the last result and. Uh, because it's the name, isn't it? You know, so, but yeah, we're, we're plugging away and we're doing quite well, and people are coming out to see us. You certainly are. Yeah, you know. So, yeah. how's the tour of the U.S. going for you guys? Well, so brilliant. Far? The yeah, next yeah, gig yeah, sold yeah. out. Yeah, it sold yeah. out, huh? Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah that Friday night you're playing at uh, TT's, right? That's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll yeah, try yeah. to make that one. Yeah, it's sold good. out though. You gotta get me uh, in. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's a gig sold out. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I've got a Motorhead cover band I'm going to be filming here on Friday night, so I can't make the gig. So I'm so glad to have seen you guys here tonight. Yeah. 
Yeah, but uh, I hope you have a great gig on Friday night. Yeah, yeah, Thank you for having us. What uh, what other bands are uh, influencing you? What's what's the scene like in London now? You got any new bands? I mean, I know there's a band in our label called Booze and Glory. I like yeah, a lot. That, yeah, that's you that's know? probably yeah. that's one of the probably that's probably I'm living in a few years now, but uh, that's probably the only one I could really think of. Um, um, you know, there's a couple of local bands where we come from, <coughs> uh, but but yeah, but in in the, sort of the more oi scene, it's probably Booze and Glory. Yeah. Um, we got a little band our way called the Half Wits, and they're sort of like they're young and they're sort of oy, but they chuck a little bit of scar and that in, and, yeah. and, and uh, they're quite they're good lads. It works. It works. Yeah, we're it good lads, and, we, and we've we've because we're trying to keep we're trying to put something back. We were trying because we got a little scene in Kent, and we all help each other. So so if like if it was to say um, a, 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 um, an oy gig and or a scar punk, you know, we all try to go to each other's gigs to try and you know keep it going because yeah. it's only a small scene. Yeah. And, and support. we all support each other and we try to make the gigs free as well. So when they're free, because it's because we're because Can mostly in Canterbury because Canterbury's um, a university. There's a university there, and the students are there and, and people will turn up if it's free. But if they have to pay like two pound, they go, oh, I've got to pay two pound. You know, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, that's a yeah. pint of beer or whatever. You know, but if they're free, people will come. Once you've got them in the door, they tend to stay. Because they actually go, they're yeah, actually pretty good, like, you know. Yeah. But it's getting them in the door, you know. And uh, and then you can always go to Europe. I mean, and in, in, in Europe, you're you're going to draw people, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, that's what I mean. What, what we tend to do, we tend we tend to play. Um, you know, we play as often as we can, but we tend to, we tend to play sort of in a year. We'd probably do two or three local gigs, two or three in London, and the, yes, the rest is Europe. After that, yeah, yeah, the rest is Europe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And. Um, mm. But we, we've after coming to America, uh, we went. We done TNT. Um, was it eighteen months ago? Uh, two, yeah. Two years. Yeah, yeah. two thousand seven. Yeah, yeah two thousand twelve. Twelve. Two thousand twelve. We yeah. done TNT in Connecticut. Yeah. And um, we realised then we thought, yeah, that's pretty good. So we was coming over to this, for this one. This one we were supposed to be playing St Patrick's Day in, in uh, Montreal, but. Uh, they only had a limited budget, and so we couldn't go in there because they they they, they, they couldn't uh, they couldn't play for everybody. They got they got menace there, and they couldn't get in you know, everybody. So, but by that time we'd already got some gigs in in, in America. So we said no, we're going. So we've we've actually paid for this ourselves. We've because we had Kitty, we've actually paid for it ourselves. No, we've got to go. And now we've realised that this is probably where we're going to we're going rather than aiming for we're aiming for the stars. Now we're going to try and all do right. America all the time. Yeah, we love it. Well, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this show will help you out, you know, and yeah, give yeah. people exposure yeah. to how good you are. Yeah, because yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the so thing is, the last it. resort have never played. <clears throat> they've never played in America. Uh, well, I think they did. Tried to, didn't they? They tried to, yeah. They've got some problems, visa problems and Even stuff. Even like Coxborough came once uh, last year and then never before that. You know, it's yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's it's expensive. Yeah. And yeah. Um, with, without, without <laughs> well, I'm going to name drop here, Lars Fredrickson's a big fan of last resort. And I met him a few years ago and he said, like, if you'd have come over in 1983, You'd have cleaned up, yeah. And I said, there's two things there, Lars. One, the last resort weren't going, <laughs> uh, and two, none of us knew that anybody in America was buying the stuff, buying the records. We didn't know because no one was getting any royalties. We didn't, we didn't know anybody in America. We, we thought it was just an English, or well, most <coughs> of them. We, we, we knew people that perhaps oh, in England were buying it, but we didn't know anyone in America was buying stuff. So, <clears throat> you know, because so no internet. No, no internet. Yeah. That's right. We were isolated. Yeah. Ma we manager know. was taking all the all the money. Mm. Yeah. So, but yeah. But we're in. We're in there. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a, it was a pleasure to have you stop. I'm a bit out of the way here, and I appreciate you stopping by and doing my show. And well, I appreciate the offer. No, yeah, thanks. Yeah, oh, yeah. pleasure. Oh, we love it. Yeah. This is yeah. great. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah. This is I, a great little setup you've got. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, you know, yeah. it's local cable. It's, yeah. uh, you know, my son does camera, and uh, <laughs> thank, thanks to the people at Danvers Cable. Uh, they do a fine job, and I try to get the best sound I can. And, you know, yeah. uh, these speakers, you don't always hear yourself, but it's... Uh, I think once by a second or third song, most bands are just into it and they just roll, and you guys did that. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. 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 So it was a real pleasure having you on. I wish you a uh, good remainder of the, of the tour Thank you. and uh, safe travels back to Europe, and uh, and we'll see you around. Yeah. Thank, you Thank, you Thank, Thank you very pleasure. much. Cheers. Thanks very much. Cheers. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Yes. Nice Thank you, guys. Thank you. Pleasure Cheers. to have you on. Cheers, mate. Thank, Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. yeah.